Hello? Hello? One, two, three. I can still hear you. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Perfect. Hello. Here we are. Hello. Gaming gaming paradise, if you will. Wow. Yeah. Uh, world 1-1. One, one. World 1-1 one, one of uh, the inaugural episode of potentially one episode. I don't know, you kind of will play it by ear, I guess. Super Drunk of, Mario uh, World. Super, super drunk world. Super DUI world. Yeah, it's Italian, ver Italian mode. Mm -hmm. And so I understand, uh, Kevin, you've never played this game before? <laughs> no, never. Uh, it's my first experience with uh, the Mario, uh, and the Italians for that matter. Yeah. So yeah. It'll, be, it'll be a fun experience for all. Did you guys know anybody growing up that said Mario? Yes. It drives me I, fucking crazy. Yeah, but not in a I'm, not in a northeastern way, just in a like randomly say word wrong type of like redneck type of way. Like I would say random words, just like the wrong like Diablo instead of Diablo or Dia Diablo. I don't know. I don't know what it's Diablo. I would Dia say something weird like that. Yeah, it's a like I had people in my family who played Mario games who would still call it Mario, which was always a. It's a huh. charming thing. I know, Maybe I know it was some... just like a, a white trash thing. Yeah. I thought it was like a northern thing. It is, because if you're, you know, Italian people in New Jersey, th that's Mario, not Mario. Right. Right. Okay. Um, well, should I preface? I guess I can preface. I mean, post-preface. <laughs> I love a so... post-preface. <laughs> Excuse <laughs> me? Post-preface. Post <laughs> I don't know. What is there to say? A classic Super uh, Nintendo game. Really good game. Super. I'm moderately competent at it. Yeah. Despite, super, even though this is my first time. The super Mario World was like the video game that made me like fall in love with video games. It, it was like the one yeah. that I spent the most time playing when I was young. See, I never was, had uh, Nintendo until 64, so... Uh, we... Yeah, we had, um... We had the, the SNES. But we didn't, for whatever reason, didn't have this game at first, and like my friend had it, so we played it at like my friend's house constantly, and I was like, holy fuck, this is like the best game I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, it's still an incredible game. Yeah, to be honest, yeah, it's it's basically flawless. Um, I don't know, yeah, I don't, I keep getting this inclination to treat it like a normal let's play, which I don't no. know, I guess it in part yeah. can be. Sure, but I think we should just, we should hang out. I um, what's a normal let's play for us? Or do you mean in general? There, there is none. I guess it's just a weird inclination after watching a bunch where I feel like I should start explaining what I'm doing. Well, do it. Do it. I mean, do just it do it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> just do it wrong. No, I don't want to explain anything. You guys can narrate. Yeah. yeah I'll sure. pretend we're at AGDQ and I'm a speedrunner. Oh, dude. I have yeah. to stay silent. I've been watching some great little uh, YouTube documentaries about speedrunner lol cows. Uh, oh, really? What's the one, the trans one? Um, Cosmo. Yes. That doesn't really narrow it down. Cosmo. Yeah. I mean, it, it's it's most. There's some somebody. Oh, the the Zelda one. Oh my God. That, yeah. The same guy that did that. I wanted to. I wanted to read this on the podcast. Maybe we still will tomorrow. Um, did you guys see that? There was that paper going around. It was some abstract research paper of a guy who was like talking about Shota pornography. Which yes. I'm, I'm not even yes. Mad. Yep. And he was like, yeah, he masturbated. Yeah, he said he wanted to, for whatever reason, was controlling for that, and so he's gonna masturbate while he researched it. Um, well, he anyways, was, yeah. That guy, that guy, some at some point, I really hope he does another uh, study about <laughs> like the link between um, uh, trans trans sexualism and speedrunning. Mark and Zelda speedrunning. It just speedrunning in general. It's yeah. insane. Yeah, um, there's a really good uh, video that maybe this was the entirety of the video. I don't really remember. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a shot for that one. Oh, me too. Um, oh yeah, I'm almost done with my first beer. Uh, so, anyway, the 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 crux of the video, or the gist of the video that I remember was this guy who was speedrunning Goldeneye 64, and I, he was doing the same level over and over and over again to the point where he kind of had like a a mild like. Psychotic breaks a strong word, but he just was like, "What am I doing?" Like out loud, he was like, "What am I doing?" <laughs> Speedrunning is the most degenerate thing in the world, <laughs> <laughs> and then he just kept doing it. <laughs> it's um, I saw I saw some some tweet or something a while back that was like, uh, 
the, the internet ha is, is detrimental because before somebody with autism would have categorized every type of beetle and like contributed so much to like scientific understanding. Oh yeah. Uh, and, and now it's like, yeah, somebody now can blindfolded uh, do Custer's Revenge without getting uh, shot by arrows or whatever. Yeah. But <laughs> I... Custer's Revenge. They learned how to play. manipulate the controls of Custer's Revenge to... Uh, Insert the uh, the rape animation when it should be the not raping animation. Yeah, well, if you if you if you um if you like drop the dick and then pick the dick up in the same frame that an arrow is landing. Do the buffer you overflow. Get, you overflow. You can the get buffer. you can get you can get dick duplication and you can actually rape uh raper from uh, halfway across the the stage and shave off like three seconds and. Mm -hmm. I I personally my favorite speed run is the, with the harem hack. Custer's Revenge. Oh, that's nice. We're, you spawn actually... just a screen full of uh, a million of those uh, yeah. poor women. Take well, it's, I um... love the I love the Custer's Revenge Blood Meridian DLC. <laughs> That was probably yeah, the best the... DLC pack, if we're being honest. No, no, I say I disagree. I like the one where it's Gandhi and you're in that room full of like a hundred naked twelve-year-olds and you try not to get a boner. Mm -hmm. You can think call of that the like, Mohammed Gandhi, special. Gan Gandhi was trying, kind of doing the Shoto study that that guy was doing. You know? <laughs> That's, it's so funny. Gandhi's like, you want to, you want to prove, you want to know how I can prove to you that I'm super uh, devout. Put me in a room full. <laughs> Did he really do that? <laughs> it's like watch it's like, this, Gandhi. We, we believe you. No, you want to bet, motherfucker? Put me in a room. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Gandhi's kind of, you know, I'm not sure about Gandhi. Not gonna lie. In uh, civilization, civilization games, he was always weirdly aggressive. What's up with mm -hmm. that? Do they know yeah. something we don't There's, know? You know? They might. Yeah. He's probably racist. He, uh, Is that? That's people say that, right? Um, yeah, I, I think probably I think the modern yeah. like consensus is that he wasn't a great guy. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's what they say about Mother Teresa. I don't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep she, it. I'm gonna keep 100 with you guys. I don't really think I know who that is. I know the name. Mother Teresa. I know that she took care of poor, sick, uh, destitute, decrepit, oh, just disgusting, awful people. But because of yeah. but because of inflation, those people were like making like seventy five thousand dollars back then. That's right. What, and she was keeping decrepit. all their social security checks. Mm -hmm. That's a, few, a lot of people didn't know that. But at least. At least there was high high employment if you considered like indentured servitude. Yeah, That's yeah, you could and I do. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys remember that that woman who she was like writing for Buzzfeed or something like that, and she wrote some article about. Oh, fuck, I'm, I'm butchering the details completely. But basically, it was like a girl boss millennial. Uh, email job journalist type person who wrote about how it wasn't that bad uh about like i don't know some sort of indentured servitude slaves type oh no no, no, no. i, well, it I turns out her, like family just had just had slaves yeah it's it's because like in the it's like philippines or somewhere in southeast asia you have like live-in help it's very yeah. like the norm is to have like live-in help that you sort of like you have their passport so you're like uh oh oh yeah 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 like yeah. you know what i mean and so you can defend that from like, uh, you could say that that's like a cultural practice, you know. Um, it's it's their it's their culture. I guess that's I think that's what the argument was. And then people were like, mm. um, "Excuse me." Well, you know, it's it's funny, uh, like growing up religious, and you know, having to read the Bible constantly. <clears throat> there's a lot of a lot of slavery in the Bible, and the way that's always explained, which is probably partially true, which was like not the, enough if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> The, right, the, sorry. The, Go ahead. the slaves weren't, you know, like the context in which American students learn about slavery in the United States. It was like, oh no, they like, they liked it actually, and it, that was, you know, it was evidenced by at a certain certain time in biblical history, there were certain laws that at the end of the period the slaves would be freed, but they could choose to continue working. It's like so many of them did. It's like, well, yeah, no shit, because they had no, <laughs> they were lowborn. Like no property. You know? Yeah. I, I do think that it there it is worth making the distinction between like of course yeah. chattel slavery and some other kinds. I don't think there's like no truth to it, but it is funny to be like no, it was all that was fine. Yeah, no, they it, they liked it actually. Yeah. No, they loved it. Yeah. They had an extra. They bone want some more of serving it. people. But I didn't realize Beaumont that you thought that uh, there's nothing bad about chattel slavery. That's interesting to find out. 
Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I think it's good. <laughs> I'll stand by it. Wow. So not the biblical kind, but yes, the recent history in, in, in this country. Honestly, any any kind. Okay. Uh, bring back the master-slave uh, like paradigm in computing, you know? Mm-hmm. I was going to say that. Yeah, that's that's since been uh, erased. Uh, a friend of mine told me that if he wasn't lying and being a loser, that he uh, was in like a... Man, the frame rate dips here for some reason. Um, that he was like... Uh, in a work call today, and people were talking about their favorite shows, and he said his was Sopranos, mm-hmm. and to give a reason, he said it was a black comedy, and apparently that was met with uh, some reaction, because oh there's like, God. there's no black people in that show. That's just, I mean, those Isn't are just that the name of the... the... Yeah. That's not a phrase, that's not a term he made up. Black, is no, it, it is dark no, com- it's black like comedy, dark, yeah. dark, no, it's both exist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's both real, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, I could, you know, to be fair, I could see the misconception, but also, like... I, I, I don't know, you know like, it's like, when you're mad at me, go, worldly, go read the you know? Wikipedia article, go be mad at that, I'll link you to yeah. black comedy. Just <laughs> let's start, let's, let's saying, go on TV tropes and see who's right. Just start, oh, I'm hold on, start can I autistically a... explain something? Sure. sure. Oh, no, sorry. No, no, I was just gonna no, say, no, it's, go a home, it's a homey ha-ha, instead of a black comedy, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's a black, yeah, Matt. you know, like black comedies like Sopranos and Friday. <laughs> Maddie, a ghost in New Jersey. <laughs> white chicks. Uh, I as a, as a... <laughs> white chicks, except they uh, they they become like uh, guineas. <laughs> uh, that, would, that would be really funny. That would be I, good. Uh, I always thought this looked like toast as a kid. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Christopher having to explain to Polly that he's actually having sex with a man. And Polly just getting like furious with Christopher. Uh, I, I always loved that section you were on a minute ago, where you're on the chain link fence and you get to hit the Koopas off the other side. I thought it was so cool. I still think it's so cool. Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah. that's fun. That is like part that I had played before, like at a neighbor's house, you know. Yeah. Nice. I always thought this looked like a bathtub too as a kid. So I guess I was fucking retarded. No, that's. I mean, I was the same way. I thought I was just stupid. Just easy, easy comparisons that didn't make much sense. Yeah. Do you Do you guys ever have light brights growing up? The, uh, the same. The same yeah. friend that had this game before me had one, and I never did. I think my sister. Oh, is it? Uh, I think yeah, someone. <laughs> oh, fun. Uh, fun fact. Uh, a lot of the translated uh, Koopa Kid names are usually are all like rock stars. So Iggy, Iggy Pop. Mm-hmm. There's a mini boss called Reznor, Reznor, Trent Reznor. That's cool. Oh, that, um, that's fun. And there's some others. Yeah. Are you sure oh. it's not Iggy Azalea? Yeah, it's 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 Iggy Azalea. Uh, what? Uh, let me let me fact check myself real quick before I say something foolish. Oh my god, my, oh, cat, uh, my cat is deciding to do the loudest thing possible next to me. I don't, I don't hear it. You're all good. Okay. Man, I, I, took, I took another shot of uh, delicious Malort, okay, which I I'll do the same. unironically love, but I don't know how many more shots I could take of that. I mean, I have beers. Yeah, um, I, uh, I finished my little whiskey already, so I'm switching to gulps of beer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm on beer. I uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, st- a stallion, a stallion is an uncastrated adult male horse. Why are you looking at that? Up? Did, now you who? Now who's? That? Now who's gonna tell? Me- <laughs> yeah, why are you looking? Now that who's up? gonna tell Megan that? Oh. Megan the, Meg the stallion. Maybe she's like gender bending, you know, David Bowie style. Like she's like, yeah, I got a giant. Like she's a, a transsexual person, transgender. That's person. what ra- that's what that's what ratchet means. It means oh. you have a giant. Dang. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. Let me let me see if I can perform this daring trick. Mm-hmm. Such a cool mechanic to be able to. Yeah. All right. 
I kind of fucked it up, but I might be able to salvage it. Is this where you... Isn't there a part where you fly under the level for a second? And you, like, skip... Yeah, it's like, um, because I can't see it, I have to, like, kind of go by sound. But I can still probably do it here. I just have to not, like, die. There we go. Nice. Nice. Yeah, this is called, we were talking about speedrunning techniques. That's called, uh... It's called something. I don't know. But you're not supposed to be able to get up there because, you know, the uh, the green blocks with the dotted lines around them haven't been unlocked yet. Oh. Oh. So it, that's not an intended... intended strat? A, a skip. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Skip. No. Not... No, not... Not actually. The thing... The, the thing with Super Mario World is that... Um, the cape is obscenely broken. Uh. In the sense that you can, like, kind of, like, fuck up and like beat the game in the way that you shouldn't be able to because you can just skip so much shit with the cape. Hmm. Um, and I don't, maybe they maybe they do that, but you can definitely do things out of order in the way you're not supposed to be able to do it. Well, there's, there's like, a, have, have you guys played um, Super Mario Odyssey, the one for the Switch? Uh, no, actually. I, ha I did, like right when it came out. Yeah, yeah, it, it's really good, but there's like all the speedrunning guys that play that game they do crazy like tricks with the hat like you can throw the hat and like get a bunch of jumps off walls and do a bunch of crazy shit and a lot of it is like obviously like unintended where they're doing like crazy you know like clipping into stuff or whatever but then occasionally they'll do something where it seems really unintended where uh they'll get up above a certain level where you don't think you should be able to get there but then there's like coins up there so it's like they nintendo kind of said like oh i bet people will be able to get up here yeah, I mean, that makes sense. They're cheeky, they're cheeky bastards over there. Well, they're, they're a little, little bit cheeky. Little... They love baseball. They do love baseball. They do love baseball, yeah. Do they, so, does Japan have, how does the Japanese baseball league work? Does anyone know? They have an extra bone, which makes it a little easier for them to, to hit homers. To hit the homers. Right. Yeah. I don't know how the Japanese they, baseball my, league My works. favorite team is the Unit 731s. <laughs> That'd be a fun T-shirt. Like a really like a like a camp shirt or like a corporate retreat shirt for Unit Seven Thirty One. That'd be cool. It's just like a ribbon. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, so fun fact. The so you see, well, you can't see the yellow ones, but there are yellow dots and red dots, much like Native Americans and regular <laughs> uh, subcontinent Indians. Uh -huh. Interesting. Uh, the red ones means that. Uh, there are two exits in the level, like a normal exit and a hidden oh, exit. Oh wow! I didn't. Know. Oh. And yellow just means there's one. Ghost ghost houses always have two, as well. Uh, I, I was ghost always kind of scared of the ghost house. This. Oh. The ghost ghost houses are like special. Like I guess the concept behind ghost houses is they have unique enemies, and the the idea is that they're like intentionally like confusing and. There's like puzzle, like, yeah. Yeah. I was watching. What are they called? They're called Kaiser. Is that what the like Ka the, Kaiser? Yeah. Yeah. The those are really so hard. Fucking hacks. cool to watch though. Like Mario Maker or just like oh the hacks, well, the ROM hacks. Yeah. So now some are in, some are in Mario Maker. Yeah. Because now Mario Maker do crazy shit. But like uh, you guys should watch it actually. The the summer games done quick that just happened a few months ago, or like a month ago or something. They do this uh, Super Mario World. Kaizo Kaiser race where the it's like two teams and they swap out every time they die and they haven't seen the levels yet and so they have to race. That's to, pretty sick. It's, it's really cool. You better watch out. Yeah, I feel like this would have scared me as a kid too. Like the ghost house. It's some, more the creepy house than the little cute little ghost. The house know? is scary. The house is scary itself. The ghost, the ghost yeah. is cute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the bo the booze. Yeah, no, the it's definitely terrifying. Like I remember as a kid, especially if you played Resident Evil One, which is like basically 
has like alien autistic people reading the dialogue. Like that scared <laughs> me as like a oh, three year old. The, the intro to Resident Evil was terrifying. Like going over to a friend's house <laughs> who's like older brother or they had Resident Evil on PlayStation because uh, their parents didn't care or whatever. And uh, just like, I would like this the scariest, like Resident Evil is the scariest thing in the world to me. I've never been able to play Resident Evil. You started playing uh, the 2 remake, right? A little bit, barely. I got into the station, and I was like, ah, oh, it's getting spooky. I don't know. <laughs> two, two's pretty tense. It, it, uh, it's I might mean, try three. three. Two, two is in your... I was going to say, if two is in your bag, don't play seven. Oh, oh yeah, I'm not going to play seven. I've just considered village, which is eight, right? Yeah. Eight, yeah. It's. I would say eight is more... With the exception of one part, it is more tense action than like horror yeah yeah eight, eight i found i still haven't beaten it i should finish it i'm like right at the end i think um but yeah seven was seven's like pretty stressful uh oh i, I until, never I th okay, thought i would play seven. I, th I think seven starts out way way more stressful and like uh scary and then by the end it was because all the monsters were fucking goo monsters by the end of it that it just completely lost me with any sort of tension um, uh, yeah. Oh, you beat seven. I beat seven. I, I really like it, but I hate that by the end all you're fighting are fucking like tar monsters. I would be the, relieved yeah, by the tension being lesser. The yeah. So like the the two things about seven are like one, the uh, what is that fucking movie called? Texas Chainsaw Massacre House. Yeah. That part is incredible. Like that whole first third yeah. of the game. Yeah, Incre insanely, so good. insanely good. But the. One of the problems with a lot of Resident Evil games is like the third act is never bad, but they definitely fuck up the landing. If mm, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They they kind of they kind of try to do weird, ambitious, or like weird, unique things that kind of just like leave a weird taste in your mouth. Yeah. Resident yeah. Evil Seven is a really good example where like the ending is like extremely questionable. Oh. You, after a really good game. You know what Resident Evil ending is fucking bananas is Code Veronica. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I've oh, just oh, you, become you beat very. That? I I didn't beat it. I read it, and then I watched some videos about the game. But I read the novelization of Code Veronica. <laughs> I forgot he did that. <laughs> the like SD Perry. Or I lo I really do like the SD Perry Resident Evil novels. I'm not ashamed to admit it. Well, I didn't. Even, I thought you were hey. kidding. It's, no. it's a real thing. I I well, I got no. into oh, those yeah. novels like when seven I was a kid. Books. Yeah. The second one is completely original. And then the third one is like Resident Evil two, and three. Damn, I might yeah. have to check something out like that out when I'm looking for like something retarded to read. Oh, dude, like that's what I read, at, like to go to bed. Yeah, uh, I'm getting lost. Yeah. So is it? So I actually own all the books because incidentally, a friend who spent a few months in jail, like uh, for some reason, he can only get Resident oh, Evil books I you tell me from like the jail from the jail library. <laughs> <laughs> and he like he managed to take them out after he got out of jail. He's like, dude, you can have these. These are terrible. He's but go, I haven't read a single one. They're not He's gonna terrible. Go back to jail for stealing <laughs> yeah. those evil books. <laughs> he going back to prison Probably for stealing. The he didn't want anybody else to read those books while they were in there. I do. I don't know how he got them. I mean, he's a huge Resident Evil fan, which is right why he read them. That's why he was he in was jail. Like, why he's he, in prison? <laughs> he like got out of jail and like he visited me. And he's like, here you go. I'm like, thanks. It's <laughs> a fun gift, dude. A jailhouse copy of the novelization it is cool, of Resident yeah. Evil. Like, every time there's the word gun, it's, like, blacked out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, man. He, when, he, when, he, when he was in, like, small town county jail, he was, like, he was one of those guys. Like, he's, he was a smart dude who would, um, he went in there, like, really arrogant and cocky. With the problem with that is that he made enemies with uh, the powers that be in there, uh -huh. obviously. Yeah. Um, and then he, then he, you know, he learned to play the game, so to speak, while he was in there for like 90 days. Well, they had the Prima guide the, in there. The saddest part he told me was like, everyone in there was a loser, and the coolest person was a pedophile. <laughs> 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 he, he was like, he's the only one I could actually talk to. <laughs> he's the only one who had anything in common. Though. He's, uh, yeah. He just—he yeah. looks like uh, he looks like Fonzie, and he walks in, and he like hits the jukebox, you know, with sunglasses on, and the jukebox plays like the Rugrats theme song. <laughs> <laughs> it plays R. Kelly. Yeah, go going going into going to prison for molesting an underage zombie. <laughs> I uh, man, I've said it before, but 
if it ever happens, uh, God forbid, end up end up in the clink, I'm immediately going reverend mode. I'm gonna be the the pious father everyone comes to for comfort. Yeah. And then well, I'm untouchable. You gotta find a lane. That's a, a good one. I think. Yeah. 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 You should you should test your theory by going into prison. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if we get if we get uh, if we double our Patreon subscribers, I'll go to maximum security. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no, you know what we should do is uh, same Quentin baby. Uh, we put uh, Beaumont in uh, like sort of Robert Downey Jr. style blackface. Um, we give him the Tropic Thunder treatment, and he goes to prison, and we call it Undercover Brother. No. What? No, no, no. I, I mean, I, the idea is a is a home run that okay. is too dangerous. Yeah. Fuck. Why is it dangerous? Oh, <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, <laughs> What's dangerous about it? it? You know, it'd be really fun. <laughs> it'd be really funny. Is, is doing that movie where everyone everyone buys it, and I go into the shower, my entire body is pale, white, <laughs> naked, pink body. My face is still black. I got alopecia. Still like, Yo, what's, what's up, Beaumont? <laughs> 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 they don't even care. <laughs> oh. just, just the big red lips and like the... <laughs> I, I didn't. I didn't say anything about that. You, have you have you seen the now deleted? Is it? I can't. I don't know if it's an episode or a scene. If it's always sunny, where like they're talking about the lethal weapon thing. Oh, they deleted they that. It, they deleted some weird things that got controversy and some other things they didn't. But there was a scene of them in the bar talking about them being a like Mac being a blackface. And then uh, Frank chimes in. He's like, you got to make the lips big. Yeah. That was hilarious. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe well, they're be... changing stuff. They got they got guilted into it. And then I was listening to their podcast a bit. And it was uh, pretty entertaining. But it feels like a lot of their opinions were like... They're kind of ashamed about certain things that they did early on. Like Yeah. Use the word retarded, for example. Yeah. But I, I almost feel like that they're doing that to, like, get heat off of them. You yeah. know what I mean? I, I As opposed to actually not finding it not funny. It's like it's so. like when um, uh, <laughs> Morgan Spurlock me too himself before. Remember that? Morgan Webb me too or something? No, no, the fucking... Um, <laughs> Wait, who's, who's Morgan the, Spurlock? The uh, fucking McDonald's documentary guy what was that oh movie? um super size me super size me he he me tooed himself he literally so when the, when the me too movement was like <laughs> reaching its crescendo he's like listen i just want to get out in he, front of this he wrote an essay post about like <laughs> he's like yeah you know what me too actually but i'm the i'm the one <laughs> i'm the one that did it but it wasn't even for one thing and i and i i uh am ha will be happily proven wrong but i don't think it was that bad what he did in general it wasn't like he like assaulted anybody he just was like creepy or weird or whatever sure and he just like he ruined his own career that. for nothing yeah. not that he was Man, what, he, I mean, he what, what did, he was such a loser what what yeah. a genius act where you're like i'm gonna i'm gonna self-emulate to get ahead of the curve and prove that I'm a virtuous person, yeah. and then you just ruin your life. Doesn't work. And then the people that get caught up in it later <laughs> don't even have any consequences. You're like, fuck. Yeah, exactly. I no one would have ever come for me. Of course. Yeah, the no one the court of public opinion is so funny and arbitrary. The amount of things that it d cares and doesn't care about. Yeah, yeah. It's, true. it's um, you know, I think real talented like PR people can can see what's coming and time time information leaks at a time when yeah. like you know like whenever whenever. Uh, we, we missed an opportunity to have like a, to have a Paris Me Too moment, like right when Dugan's daughter blew into a million pieces. You know, could have used that as uh, as chaff. What do you mean by that? People would have been so concerned with the chaff, they would have forgotten about your Me Too incident. Oh, 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 oh! You're right. Yeah, if only I'd gotten Me Too. Where you're, where you're harassing a woman by car bombing her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been trying to think of a, a pun with Dugan because I didn't know who he was until you guys talked about him. So I don't care about that nerd shit. Yeah. I don't know. I was like <clears throat> trying to think of like Dugan, Doug, funny. That didn't really make any sense. <laughs> yeah, the fact that you're already trying to think of a pun, it's all you're off to. Usually off to a bad start. Uh, with, with uh, yeah, how about this? How about Doc? Oh, hey, wait, wait, wait. How about Doc? Wait, hey, wait, wait, wait. How about Doctor Dugan Hauser? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah. How about Dugan? Yeah, about Dugan I, I love Donuts? how. I, <laughs> Dugan I love, Donuts. That's also pretty good. I love how I love how Beaumont's talking. Who's the one playing Mario here? You wouldn't even made it past the first level, you pussy. <laughs> that's a good point. What do you have? To, what do you have to say to that? You Nothing. just you just Duganed yourself and in, into an early grave. Oh, that's true. That, was, that one wasn't really good. No. <laughs> let's, let's yeah, yeah, lead, lead the punch to the professionals, buddy. Yeah. Uh, Dugan Spurlock and he's <laughs> Dugan. <Spurlock. laughs> that would be a good like, should... sketch, like a mashup of uh, Alexander Dugan and uh, Morgan Spurlock. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> they start a podcast together. So, uh, yeah, that would be, that'd be sick. Uh, we should, um... I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna reach out to Tony and see if he wants to come on the show tomorrow. I, dude, I think we should talk about Dugan with Tony and get a counter, get a ca uh, counter valence on there, too. You know, we need, like, a, a, a globalist. You know, let's get a, a certain friend of ours on. <laughs> Yeah, we, we should do that because then, uh, like, I think we're all of us, Dan. I don't want to speak for you guys, but I just, like, don't really fucking care at all. I can see about, certain about aspects what? of both sides of why someone would. But, like, I don't care. Yeah, it's not like I don't care. Care, care about what? Du Dugan. Dugan's attention. whole fucking thing. Like, yeah, I, again, I don't know who Dugan is. You guys haven't explained him He's, he's uh, Putin's brain. He's a, he's a uh, Russian so philosopher. I didn't even realize he was like, he had clout in Russia until like relatively recently. I just thought it was some guy that like nerds liked. But, uh, no, I think he's like literally. No, he is. He is. Stuff, yeah. But he's like, he's like so a he's third like a, way, like. Uh, fourth way. Fourth way, sorry, excuse me. It's sort yeah, of like a not, not like a post Nazbol type thing, kind of. You know? Post post punk communist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, no, like a national con a nationalist communist sort of. You know what I mean? Like, I thought those two groups were opposed. He's. Is, uh, I yeah, thought that I, was like the. I don't actually know, I don't know much about him. All I know this shit's fucking gay and dumb. I know. Anyway, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. You know, he's he's an ultra nationalist, and so he's. All right. Well, that, that, that's a that's a that word doesn't mean anything. Well, it means as much as what you were saying earlier. That he's an, he's like sort of a. I said he's like a Nazbol is the closest we've gotten to what he actually is, just mm -hmm. for the record. And that was from. Uh, I like how Naz Na, Nazbol sounds like a some sort of like obscure football league. It, like uh, the, it isn't is. That the championship. Isn't that what they rode on in Lord of the Rings? The. Mm -hmm. The Nazgul. 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 Right. The Nazgul. Yeah. Shit. Anyway, yeah, some, uh, you know, some shit. Yeah. Yeah. This is. Anyway, uh, they got his daughter, which I think is wrong. Fuck, I keep missing yeah. too. Whatever happened yeah. to not killing women and children, in Ukraine? Yeah, well, the the rules of uh, here's the, the rules thing. have changed. We right? should we should get we should get into this on the on the podcast proper. But I, uh, oh my god, I'm not even convinced it actually happened. Any of that shit. That's a good point. I never thought of that, but now that you say it, me neither. Yeah, yeah. So, with my limited knowledge of, you know, this some, this you know nationalist communists who are the fuck's daughter getting car bombed, getting Irish car bombed. Mm -hmm. What consequence does it have for anyone beyond a, like a Reddit headline? Does it even have a consequence in Russia? Yeah, I think so. If, if, it? If, it, if it's actually, and again, I'm completely speaking uh, out of my ass here, but if it, it it's, it's being implied or the belief is that it is Ukraine that did it and going after Dugan and going after, like, I think it was like intended for him and so trying to kill, like, who... He's being the the, the, the sort of the theoretician behind the Russian yeah. Empire at this moment. Yeah, mm. it would be mm. like um, it would be like if somebody blew up uh, Eber Max Kendi's daughter. Like they blew up they blew up Eber Max Kendi's daughter. Yeah. If they uh, if they chopped off um, Dick Cheney's daughter's tits, you know. Oh, dude, Liz. Wait, McCain. I was thinking of McCain. Oh well, yeah, McCain. What what did I say? Cheney. Cheney. No, McCain. Yeah. All right. What level? What level are we doing next? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Let's get back, let's get back to more. Let's get <laughs> let's back to the it. important thing. All right. Everybody, chug a beer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah let's yeah. let's switch controllers. All right.
All right, let's do this. What uh, rock star is this named after? It actually might not be one. Morton. We'll find out. Oh, yeah, Mor Morton Danzig. Morton. Who's that? Morton Danzig. Morton Danzig from the Misfits and from Danzig? I don't know. Yeah, so there's never a Misfits guy. There's... You don't know Morton Danzig, the band Danzig? That No, it's... Are you fucking with it? It's not Morton. I mean, it says Morton right there. Right. No, you're correct. It does say it does say Morton. I was just trying to pull a fast Mort one on Beaumont by making him Mort think that Glenn, Glenn Danzig was named Morton Danzig. No. Oh. It's fun. Why... Why is it Princess Toadstool, though? You know what I mean? It's like, where did this fascination with... Uh, I don't even know. Is a toadstool a real thing? Oh, you know no. what? That's. Oh fuck! I had a, I had like a Phoenix Down moment. Phoenix Down syndrome moment. A couple Dude, of I was days just ago. I was just listening to the Bombcast episode with the Phoenix Down moment. <laughs> it's so good. Like that was amazing. Are you, fam are you familiar with that uh, concept, Kevin? Phoenix Down, it's like uh, it's a, like a revive in Final Fantasy or some dumb shit. Yeah, but it's always it's always the icon for it's always a feather, and like there's this moment where you don't ever think about it, but then <laughs> it's it's the down, it's feathers from a phoenix which allow you to revive. Oh yeah. And like many yeah, of yeah. us never even thought of it. Thought of yeah, that it just, it's just some all. arbitrary yeah. words. Yeah, it's just phoenix down, like every like all the other arbitrary string of words in Final Fantasy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck, so man. so anyway, what are you getting? To? No, I, I had a moment where something like that happened to me. God, this was so fucking infuriating. Is I had a realization where I realized something so obvious what it actually meant when I had just been saying the phrase in my entire life, and now I now I forget completely. So. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I blame uh, Kevin for sort of taking us off track there. <laughs> I've cr I've created a uh, beautiful background with my expert playing in this game. Look at this. We're in a bonus game now. This, this is, is great. Uh, this is the way we impressive. should do the show, I think. That's what I've been trying to say. Well, no. We need you locked in. You can't be playing anything because you can barely pay attention to the conversation when it's like the only thing going on. Is that true, you know, or do I, I need like a lower order task to occupy my mind to free up my higher order functions? Maybe, maybe that might be true. We can, you know what? Let's we can try it out next time. But it can't be anything like where you have to read dialogue. It's got to be no, something no, no, you. No, no, no. Nothing like that. It's gonna be well, like action so... RPG, like click, like just clicking stuff. Diablo yeah, something, something, something simple. Like, so I don't. I actually have, despite how much I love you guys as uh, BFFs, it's like I seriously doubt you guys could talk actively and play a game like I am right now. <laughs> like, that's that's just kind of my thought about it. Yeah, you know it depends I mean? on the. Depends yeah, on the depends. Yeah, 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 first like the, of all, ogre, first of all, I want to tell you to slow game. your fucking roll, <laughs> real quick, and uh, uh, show, put some respect on my name. Second of all, I think that. It's the it's the muscle memory game thing, but also you are doing it very impressively right now. I will say kudos. However, yeah, I think that if we All had right, similar muscle memory with a game, that we could at least get close to what you're doing. I don't think that it's beyond us, but I do think that what you're doing so, is impressive. So as a, actually, that's that's really nice. It makes me feel slightly bad, not completely bad for my insult, not but slightly bad. Okay, well that's good. So, enough. so, well my my follow up to that is. <laughs> Is there a game that both, either of you guys consider yourselves like unconsciously really good at? Like that, yeah. not that you could like play it flawlessly, but that you played it enough that you don't really have to think much about what you're doing. That's interesting. I don't, yeah. I don't know because any game that I put like a ton of time into would have been like my, my so my impulse would be to say something like Halo One, which I got like really really good at forever ago but not anymore yeah um uh yeah i don't know I don't see for so. me it's games like yeah that i haven't played in so long that it's probably gone like uh like the minority report game where you could throw people through glass and like enter the matrix and like weird games that i just played way too much of for whatever reason like we just play the first that level was a of game yeah. Me neither. What's the Minority Report game? We should play that. <laughs> Dude, it was sick. You could just, like, you could grab someone and throw them through, like, a glass panel, throw them off roofs. Me and my friend would just play and, like, throw people through stuff and off stuff exclusively. We would, that's the only way we would kill people. Uh, so, not to, I'm gonna, I wanna, I wanna, I do wanna know more about that. I didn't, I don't think I ever knew the, the unshelled turtles would stop the turtle shell. 
They, yeah, they do. Wow. Um, I fucked it up though. I mean, to, so what, I guess what you're supposed to do is, like, the unshelled turtle is on the top three layers of blocks, and you have him throw the turtle shell from the that you deliver to him, quote unquote, to the bottom, and then you follow the screen over to the right, and then you get a one up. Huh. And that's the uh, that's the gist of that. But he got knocked down, and then he kept catching it, so it fucked it up. Oh, you know, it's funny, because I was going to say, like, my favorite game of all time is definitely not one that I could do unconsciously. But, like, Katamari is, like... I'm going to take a shot. I've never played that. Oh, dude, oh, I played really? uh, the first one I played a decent amount of. Katamari dude, that's, like, my favorite game of all time. It is so goddamn good. I have the rerolled thing on PC, and I haven't even launched it yet, but I want I want to play it. Yeah, that's can, just the first. So can that's just can the first you explain game. the gist? I know you collect things. It's yeah. a big ball. Yeah, but, like, yeah. What, so what you're what you're the you you're the prince of all cosmos because the king of all cosmos got drunk and destroyed all the stars in the sky. And let's just be honest, he's not a great dad. Yeah, <laughs> but he's making it work. He's trying his best. He's trying. And so then he tasks you he, with rolling a katamari and collecting things on Earth to then, like, shoot up into the sky to, like, fix all the stars. Uh, but, like, the mechanics of the game is... you It's both analog sticks. I think that's the only thing you you only you use. It's been a while since I played it, but... That's most of it, at least. Yeah. And so you, you turn using both analog sticks. So, like, one up, one down will spin you in a... will, like, turn you on, uh, on your axis. And then you, both forward goes forward, both back goes back. And you start off... Like, what's so fun about the game is you start off small, and as you pick up items, which will be, like, thumbtacks and paper clips and uh, stamps and, like, little things like that, uh, you'll start growing. And also, like, whatever you're rolling into it affects the physics of the ball to some extent. So yeah, if you are just barely big enough to pick up, like, a fork in its lengthways on your katamari, yeah. you'll roll the length of the fork in a really, like, clunky way. Yeah, it's gonna but have as, like fucked up. It's gonna be all fucked up. And like, but you, you can't uh, you can't stick, you can't pick up anything that's like too much bigger than yourself. Like yeah. Ball at the time. And so the the no. w when that game's Fuck. its best is when it's a level where you start off small. You're picking up supplies and you get bigger. Then you're picking up like sandals and mouse traps and like boxes of crayons and then you get a little bit bigger and now you're picking up like fruits and then you can roll outside and you can pick up like random fucking like, rats that are rolling around and you get bigger and bigger and bigger and then finally like you are picking up like cars and people yeah. and then at the end you're picking up uh like buildings and islands and it's just it's really really satisfying. oh it's it's progressive i just uh i just assumed that you did that from the beginning no no, 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 no. That's why the size thing is so important. Hey, okay, yeah. everybody chug a beer. Okay, yeah. yeah. All, right, all right, all right, hold on, let me pause again. I want to hear it crack. I only have a, I have only have a beer and a third left. I already have a beer open, so I'm going to take a shot, because apparently I'm just dealing with a bunch of pussies who aren't taking shots. I didn't have time to go get liquor, and I'm out of liquor. I smoked weed. No, you didn't. Early, so. so I didn't, I, ha didn't have time. I didn't, didn't have, have time. I didn't have time to eat. I haven't eaten, by the way. So. I, I, I did. I, I made you, time I to thought eat. you did eat. I ate. Yeah. Alright. I talked mm. Yeah, I talked myself up into thinking I was going to have time to make shrimp fried rice, and I got it in my head that I wanted it so bad, and then I got too busy, and I... Yeah, that seems like the kind it. of thing you needed an excess of time to make, unlike a uh, night like tonight. Well, no, I thought I would have more time during the day where I could, like, start it and get everything prepped, you know? And then once you have all the stuff prepped, it's, like, 20 minutes to make fried rice or less. Right, But right, right. I ended up running out of time. I didn't have any time at all today, so. You had a busy day? Busy yeah. day. <sighs> Mr. I'm moving. My life's so important. Yeah, that's, that's me. That's what I say. My life's so important. My name's <laughs> Beaumont. <laughs> Oh, I was trying to burp, it didn't come out. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm so, I'm such an important man. I'm it is, moving. you know, I'm... if you think about it, it is pretty messed up. The Beaumont's moving away from me, but Ugh. I do forgive him for that. For the record. Hey, we all gotta spread our wings and fly at some time, you know. No, I, you know, like, like Ara Kelly said. Mm -hmm. you know? That's true. You know, it, it's not ideal uh, that that my my boy is moving across the country, but I think that y'all are gonna have fun in California, so. Even though I can't specifically condone those actions, I, I support you and I, I wish so, you so, the best. So here's the thing. 
um, I think it's obviously not because it's just like not viable and not even what I want to do necessarily. So it's not like a forever thing, of course. Uh, and what I think it means now is it opens it up, opens us up for like fun trips in general. You know, like it's a it's a cool place to meet and go do stuff. That's true. There's, it's a good hub to do West Coast stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, it's gonna be dope. I'm gonna come out there uh, once yeah. you guys are settled in. It's gonna be good. Yeah, I can't wait for. Um, and you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be good for the show. We'll get uh, we'll get Hassan Hassan Piker on. Oh, um, dude, we're gonna get so many LA celebrities on the show now. Yeah, we're gonna get Gary Busey. Did you, get, did you guys see Gary Busey got arrested because he was like smoking a cigar? Sexual and, assault. Yeah, smoking a cigar and masturbating in the park. What have really? You, have you seen? Yeah. Was that what it was? Yeah. Let, let my man live. Have you have you have you seen the video of him when he made the Quigley movie when he was like the lead in that? And he was like talking about him being the lead in Quigley. No. And like he he kept referring to himself as Gary Busey, like third person. And there was like this stock like music in the background. It is the most surreal and hilarious thing in the world. We should uh, send me the link when we're done with this. We'll watch it on the show tomorrow. Yeah. Um. But also, what's funny is I don't think I've seen that, but I think I've seen the Family Guy like making fun of that. Uh, That's funny. Yeah. So, you know what I don't like are those blue shell turtle guys. I always, I realize this now, that I've never liked those enemies. The, what, what do you mean? Those the up there, on the top of the screen, those guys, I don't like them. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. they're cocksuckers. Because you, you actually can't kill them. Yeah, like dry bones. Unless, uh, unless you have a cape. Or you, like, throw them against something. Oh, what about dry bones? Can you so kill dry bones, or is he immortal? You, you need... Yeah, the, you need a cape. Wow. It's the cape is fucking broken. The cape can only like the cape can kill things that like you would expect the the firepower to oh, kill. Oh, the best best item in Mario by far of any of the games is uh, the boot. What is it? Co What's it? Oh like, yeah, uh, Karibo. Karibo's Karibo shoe. God damn. Yeah, yeah. What what a fucking cool so item. So sick. It is. Isn't really there like sick. a high a red high heel version? <laughs> There, there is, yeah. There's a red high hill version in the, in the green boot. <laughs> Wait, is that in three or is that just in like Mario? Maker? That's in the speedrunner special it's, edition. It's, it's in three. <laughs> it might be in Mario Maker. I, I well, can't remember. Mario, it's in Maker. Mario, it's in I, Maker. I, yeah, yeah. I, I have Mario yeah, Maker. Mario, too. Mario Maker is so fucking sick, dude. I played it for a while, but they've since released like a lot of like DLC and updates to it. I did. I, I wish I had had y'all around fun when game. I was playing it because that would have made it a lot more fun. I didn't realize, dude. You gotta send me your levels. Well, oh, I haven't, dude, I haven't played in a while. Levels. We should all play. We should. Uh, I have two um, on my Switch. We should. I would get two. I'll send you my old levels. Oh, that'd be so fun. Uh, yeah. Let's get some as yeah, asynchronous yeah. Mario Maker stuff going on. You can play. You can play uh, co-op on it. So oh. there's some co-op design levels. Well, and I know, I know yeah. now, just because I was watching, they also did on this Summer Games Done Quick. They also did some Mario Maker 2, like same type of thing. The same teams doing speed running the extremely hard Mario Maker 2 levels that they hadn't seen yet. And I didn't realize. I don't know if this was in there when I was playing it or if I just didn't. Uh, anyways, you can like use different characters. Like you can use Link uh, for I certain things, where he has that. a sword and bombs yeah. and bow and arrow. Yeah, they so with Mario Maker Two, as I understand it, shit, it was uh, a d a delayed thing. If that makes sense, like in Mario Maker One, there was like a lot of um, characters you could play as that had different things about them, mm. or different characteristics, or whatever the fuck. But Mario Maker Two took a while to do that. But yeah, they had like Link and shit. Wow, it's so, so you could do, you could design levels around that. Yeah, but also, in the first one, they didn't change anything about how it played, right? Oh, that's right. It was just skits. for for the for the most for the most part, yeah, exactly. Uh, but also another uh, another thing that's crazy about Mario Two is you can do Super Mario Two um, uh, levels, which means you can do the weird like pick up that's uh, right. radishes and yes. stuff. Which I loved that game as a kid. Oh yeah. I know it's not technically a Mario game, but I love that game. Sure, Doki it, Doki Panic. It is. is that what that yeah. is? Yeah, fuck that Doki Doki bullshit. Yeah. It is a Mario game. It, yeah. I mean, our, yeah, no one cares about the real Mario 2. It's just yeah. more Mario 1, as far as I'm concerned. Also, it gave us Shy Guys, which is one of the coolest fucking characters. Yeah. 
Have you? Have either of you guys? I'm gonna take a shot right now. Have you guys played too, yeah. Yoshi's Island? Yes. Uh, barely. Like Island. What? What? It like? I, I'm not like. I'm not an expert in it. What was the game with a bunch of different game. colored Yoshis? That's. Well, it's either Yoshi's Island or Yoshi uh, Story. I think I'm thinking of the other one. Oh, wait, no, Super... Yo Yoshi's Island is fucking incredible. What's the one wait, with Super all the different Super Yoshis? Super Mario 3, I, you could get... I just no, answered no, no, your no, question. No. No, I, I, no, it's neither of those. It's not like a Mario-style game. You control, like, a bunch of different Yoshis or something. Oh. Yeah, again, that is the That's answer. Yoshi Pikmin. Island? Pikmin. I think you're talking about Pikmin. It's either Yoshi Island or Yoshi's Story, where you control Yoshi Yoshi's Story. control Mario. Yeah, where Mario's a baby, or you just control Yoshi. No Mario. Which one's that? The 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 music, the music in in uh, Yoshi's Island is so good, and then uh, also the weird like there'd be times when you're uh, aiming the egg because you throw eggs, and they'll cut through like fluff or whatever. I don't know. There's some like really cool shit in that game that I really like. I guess. Yeah. No. It's. It's a wholly, like, uh, unique, incredible game. It's legitimately, like, revolutionary. Prob well, I say revolutionary, but, it, like, no game really tried to copy it. But it still is an amazing game. Okay, I was trying to think of Yoshi's story. I'm sure you were. I don't know if I know what that one is. It was for the N64. I never played it, You but... played as Yoshi. Oh, you, yeah, fuck. you played as Yoshi, and it was like a short game, I guess. You could do like multi Maybe I do remember that one. <coughs> I thought it was. Yeah, that shot really fucked me up. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let me. Oh, oh drink man, another I, beer. I, I'm, yeah, I, I have another one. I'm still oh, keeping whoa, it. Whoa, I forgot about Yoshi's story. Holy f shit. That it doesn't look familiar to me, though. I don't know. The, like, the level that I keep seeing is not what I was thinking of. I don't know. I used to. I used to, well, so what I remember most, I mean, I definitely have played this. What I remember most, though, is the Super Smash Brothers level. That was the Yoshi Stories level. Mm, yeah, yeah. You know what we should do? Yeah, Super Smash Brothers, or the the OG Super Smash Brothers fucking kick ass. We should, fuck, uh, fuck Melee. We should, we should set up, fuck like, a remote play type stuff and do Western Promises Discord, like, Mario Party. Oh, man, that would be sick. Uh, Mario Party is so fucking good. You know, we I actually actually Party. shout out to the dis Discord. We have some cool some cool people hanging out in Discord now. Oh uh, yeah, our best friends. Yeah, it's good. It's good. We got a good. I feel like we got a good vibe in the in, in going in general. So now also, instead of no, us just saying like, hey, come join and hoping that you talk, there's actually people talking now. So it's oh no, it's like legitimately I like log in to look at stuff and I'm like, damn. Yeah. These these guys are fucking funny and also like there are no losers in there. Yeah. There are no losers. That's true. It's a loser-free zone. It is, yeah. Kind of like Planet Fitness. That's <laughs> true, yeah, no lunk alarm. Well, it's the opposite. <laughs> well, no loser alarm. <coughs> We're making big progress. Yeah, have you died? Are you going to beat the game? I d I've died two or three times. Wow. We're, we're like, uh... Oh, Jesus. This is the third world. There are like, uh, eight worlds or something? Third world? Country? Third third world, third life. This These levels scared me. With the, the lava and the, the bone rides. Because you see the, the... They're called Blargs. I, I always liked these, yeah. Well, that's I, I just... I, I like that he's very cute, riding a little thing. Scary. Yeah. I also liked in, uh... Donkey Kong Country Shit. whenever you would get to ride the mine carts. Oh yeah. Cool spot. Oh yeah. Yeah, I I uh I don't know what it was. Like I I played Donkey Kong Country games a lot as a kid and you know, I played them recently so it's not a big deal, but there were, there was at some weird point where I was playing them and I would get like motion sickness from like the cart levels. They've got they've got such a weird look to them and I I don't know what it was. Uh the, Wait, mode the art direction behind. Well, no, 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 not mode. It, it's probably the mode. Se Maybe it's a mode seven. No, but they. It was like it had full 3D, 3D. Oh yeah, that was the. Graphics. That was the Super Nintendo that had mode seven. And it was just. Um, it was like really ahead of its time. Like the the graphics you could get on a, on a, on the Super Nintendo. Like they really pushed it to its limit. The hardware. And I remember re like watching some, I don't know, some documentary or something about 
the the art direction behind that game. And, like they developed it was like not not the same, but you know how like id software whenever they're making doom yeah. like they would always make these like massive uh leaps like computing tech yeah and their engines making yeah. That game. yeah they actually you want to know you know how have you read master of doom yet oh yeah yeah oh, okay. I, I love that book oh, shit. Is this random, or can you memorize really it's, well? It's, it's completely random as far as I understand. Yeah, what a what a beautiful game. It's great. All right, so we're at. Uh, actually, no, I don't give a shit. Yeah, coming up on an hour, probably got another 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 stage, maybe. Maybe we can make it to the third third uh, boss. All right. Oh yeah. All right, I drink. I mean, we we actually I'm, might be able I'm to. I'm drinking this much beer. We should probably go another at least half hour. Yeah, I'm down. I'm All right, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. I would I I'm I would probably be down to do another hour, but out of 45, 30, 45, we'll see. If if we want to do another hour, we could also switch over and we could do Deus Ex. We could do another Deus Ex too. I think yeah. this is working well. I don't I don't think we should no, change no. gears at this point. No, totally. Yeah, you know, I'm having a great time. I'm just saying. No, no, no. I feel that. I just don't think that we could change gears and keep the momentum. I mean, we maybe, but like not as like a that's a detractor or anything. I just don't think that's a good idea to try. Yeah, I agree. Damn. You know, not that I, not that I'm a fucking genius at this game, but I feel like there's something like, well, I am a genius. Kind of are. That. I'm just being modest. I'm just being modest. Being, I'm being a modest mouse, but I, Mo I feel like there's something like relaxing about playing a game while people are talking. No, yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to necessarily narrate it. I love. Um, it reminds yeah. me of. Um, <laughs> remember that video of the guy who's doing. Uh, like scotch reviews while his wife is moving out of the house. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that I amazing. know exactly what you're talking about. It's, it's the guy just like reviewing scotch. <laughs> his wife is actively divorcing him and moving out of the house. <laughs> he's God. Just, he's just like in frame packing shit up and he's just not listening to her and like yeah reviewing that her. rule. God, so you know what that reminds me of is one of the uh like youtube documentaries that i watched uh recently was about um it was uh wings of destiny oh yeah the fat guy yeah the fat guy and so it was uh the grease wizard did a, a series about him and then i watched uh down the rabbit hole which is like a big a bigger youtuber guy uh about yeah wings i've seen of some destiny. of those so who is Wings of Destiny? I don't know what that he is. He was like an OG Call of Duty streamer, um, or like YouTuber, like back in the day. Wait, now, okay, yeah, I don't know. I I, I watched one about what's the something Phil? Who's the Phil guy? Phil Darkside. Yeah, yeah, yeah Darkside Phil. Darkside Phil. Dark I watched Side one about yeah, Darkside Phil. He <laughs> masturbated on stream. Yeah, that's his thing. Yeah. Um, but no, Wings of Destiny, I don't know, he was just like, uh, well, I don't know, how do you explain Wings of Destiny? I don't even know, now I don't even know. He's like a, he's like a fat Call of Duty player yeah. who became a locale, yes, right? Yes, yes. Because he would get like, he had like a fat wife and he would just get like mad, he got, he would get really mad at stuff. And he was also on that podcast, uh, <clears throat> fuck, what's it called? Pod Save America. No. <laughs> Red pill? No, it, something. It doesn't. the The name of it doesn't really make sense. PKA painkiller anon painkiller. Oh, oh, oh. Pa yeah, I, I know exactly where it's PKA. Yeah. PKN. Yeah, they had. Uh, I get I get them advertised or not advertised. I get them like recommended on my YouTube recommendations. What's it called? I fucking hate them. It's called PKA is the acronym. Already like painkiller already. Yeah. What is, what is I don't know what that is. I think I may have, may have. It's it's just a stupid podcast that gets put on people's recommendations. But it's like old, it, and it was co-hosted by Kyle, who was FPS Russia, the the large oh. YouTuber. Oh, for the record, Lemmy. Here's another reference. Lemmy from Motorhead. Uh huh. 
There you go. There you go. I'm the just Remy's proving my castle. point. I don't know who the. Oh, okay. I don't. I don't know who the fuck Morton is. Maybe that was no one. I told you it was Morton Danzig. That is, yeah, it's, you're correct. It is Morton Danzig. Oh, you know, it's actually Beaumont Danzig if you think about it. You know, um, <coughs> I was. We were talking about. This is funny. We were talking about uh, the uh, f fresh and fit, and I said that their Patreon thing was the Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Yeah. Font. Yeah, yeah. The, I went to I went to Painkiller already, and their fucking logo is just the Grand Theft Auto thing. So it, and that's uh, probably from like the late 2000s. <laughs> it's still very played out. But in the late 2000s, it makes sense at least. Maybe yeah. Is I was it, thinking. It's not if, GTA if any, logo. If, if, any, font? What? If, any, if anybody, I'm on their Patreon. Oh okay. Well, that's like probably a new like, thing. That's my city style. So that is the same. You're right. Yeah. FPS Kyle, yeah, FPS Russia. Yeah, since Remember since uh, early 2010. <clears throat> Remember the bald guy that was like, uh, who was it? It was like the early Counter Strike guy that was like, you run faster with the knife or whatever. FPS oh, Doug. Oh, you boom, know what I'm talking about? Boom, boom headshot. Yeah. FPS Doug. Yeah, boom FPS headshot Doug. guy. Yeah. Yeah, FPS Doug. That was the name of the That's YouTube exactly channel or whatever. Wow, I wonder what that guy's up to. Oh, in my, shot. in my, in my mind's eye, he looks exactly like um, uh, the MySpace guy. What's his name? Tom. 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 He looks like Tom. I wonder what Tom's up to. Blessing girls. I th so, <laughs> so as I understand, he sold MySpace for a mint, and then just went abroad and started living his life for hundreds of millions of dollars. Wow, he was a computer hacker under the pseudonym Lord Flathead. Uh, that sounds like a racist yeah. uh, slang. Wow, he got raided by the FBI because he hacked Chase Bank. <laughs> well, who, Tom? Tom, yeah. Wow. Um, he hacked Chase Bank. He's yeah. kind of sick. Uh-huh. Uh, he did it because he was against Globo Homo. Mm. What did he do? Let's see here. Anything interesting about... Is my space. Okay, so he founded the site partly as a reaction to Friendster and its policy of blocking accounts that did not use real names. Oh. Interesting. So he wanted to. He wanted to. A real seems head. Like a, it seems like. A, yeah. A fellow traveler. It was sold to News Corp in 2005 for $580 million. Wow. Um, that's insane. I need, said, that's how much money I need. Yeah. Before fact. the, he said, um, before the acquisition, I could do whatever I wanted. Now it takes more time to get people to agree on things. All the budget reviews and processes that can be a pain, but it's not stopping us. Uh, oh, and then News Corp. Uh, said oh, Tom Anderson, the MySpace guy, was responsible for the product, but ended up being a complete bottleneck on getting things done. I, I'm He's sure it depends on what you mean by getting things done. Totally, yeah. Uh, wow. He probably had a vision for like how he wanted it to be, and they were trying to like make money, obviously. Yep. Anderson was replaced as president in April 2009 by News Corp. By 2010, he was no longer the default friend on MySpace and was replaced by a profile called Today on MySpace, acronym T-O-M. Dude. That's just insane. Pathetic. Yeah. Default friend. Is this Isn't on, that like a Twitter? Is this on Wikipedia? This is on Wikipedia. Yeah, that's in late May 2012, Anderson announced that he would be joining Rocket Frog Interactive as an advisor to the 16-person Los Angeles-based company, which created a Facebook app. Uh, Rocket Power Interactive. Rocket Power Interactive. Yeah. Rocket Pack. Uh, well, that's that's the last. That's the last kind of last thing. Last anyone I've... ever heard of him. Oh, what the hell? He's dead. 2014, 2014 is the last like thing about him anywhere. I can't believe he probably he's just paid dead. to get shit deleted at this point. What the fuck? What happened? I'm okay. glad he's dead. <laughs> Are you? I love this. I don't know. It just it's just funny to say that. This is funny. This <laughs> is right. from this is from this is from MTV's Australian website. Uh, Tom sold the website to News Corp in 2005 for a cheeky 580 million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> cheeky. 
Wait, what? It, just the way the way the Australian MTV page describes oh. the news is that he sold it for a cheeky 580 million. It says the now 47 year old is pretty much living out all our dreams in Hawaii and has pursued a whole new career as a travel what photographer. The fuck? Yeah, so that just means he fucks girls. That's cool. Yeah. Travel and it's sad that I'm struggling on this level. I'm this glad you guys aren't noticing though. Uh, no, I've been paying attention. This was always a hard one, I feel like. I was paying so much attention. This is usually the level that I can't remember, like, what the timing is on the little crushers, you know? Mm, the ball crushers. Yeah. Wow. Uh, MySpace Tom is his name on Instagram. Clever. Is he still uh, posting? No, 2018. Wow. Really fell off the map. Oh, I... Yeah. yeah, I'm glad he's dead. But yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of pictures of uh, girls in bikinis looking at like nature. <clears throat> That's so funny to be like, yeah, I'm a photographer. <laughs> 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 it it just it man. I have to get on this. That's what's going on. Well, my face, Tom. Yeah, shout out to MySpace Tom. Come on the show. Yeah, hey, my, MySpace Tom, come on. He's uh, be, be, we can let's start something. Let's start the next MySpace. Come, come hang out on Neo Geo Cities with us. Uh, <laughs> come on, hang out on Neo Gaff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's nothing uh, worse than go. gaming communities. No, I think they're good. <laughs> I mean, only if they're racist, and they're usually not. They used to be. <laughs> All right, let's, let's not go. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Mario's not racist. No, I don't. Easy. I don't want Easy. them to be racist, but the, it's just they're they're all you know nobody you know it's not. Good. I, it's like it's like you just accept it as a fact of life. We yeah. should we should. I mean, I I understand what you mean. It's like uh, gaming racists. It's just a thing that happens. Yeah, I feel like if you, if you give people anonymity, the default perception of like what they're going to view the world as is usually a very black and white, quite probably literally, but also you know there's some shades in there. I also you know I also think that it's one of those things where, it, because that has become like humor, a lot of it's just people saying what you're not allowed to say. Well, yeah, I was gonna say humor relies on the taboo to like. Yeah. Uh, increase the shock value of whatever joke or the the what you're not expecting of it, right? And so, right, since, and since since race and everything is such a taboo subject now, it now becomes anything that it has like free speech or all those all of those like truth dot com yeah, fucking yeah. social networks, or whatever. <laughs> like they always Jeez, end up racist. Yeah, yeah. Western promises that neocities dot com. Yeah. That's like the premier <laughs> racist yeah. website. Yeah. yeah. We're we're talking the bell curve. We're talking IQ distribution. I charts. uploaded a PDF of the bell curve for all of our. We're talking. We're talking uh, races that take kratom versus races that don't. Yeah. And guess what? Some of them are smart. <laughs> you know, so I, I'm actually curious. What, what do you think the what do you think the like demographics of kratom usage are? Oh, of kratom usage. Probably mostly white guys, right? Oh, by race. Probably by kratom. race and gender. Kratom. I feel like definitely, experimental definitely. drugs seem like a seem like a very uh, upper crust or middle middle crust white person. I don't know. I I feel that, like that's just my hunch. I though. think that kratom has a little bit of working class bona fides. Yeah, but they're all the, it's all the like painkiller addicts that mostly take it. So it's like definitely. But like did, a, they yeah, have, did they have? Did they have a knowledge people. or access of it? Yeah, because they you sell them I mean? at the gas station. Yeah, but do do they know what it is? You know, it's not like. I, it, they sell it. It must. They. It's selling. Oh no. Yeah. I, I mean, it's sell. I don't know. I guess you're. Right. I don't know, man. I don't know. I like. Kratom. We're on the cheese bridge it's area. It's hard to know. So uh, quite, quite frankly, I don't give a fuck what you think if I'm on the cheese bridge area. I'm, I'm on my cheese bridge shit. Nobody can fuck yeah. me. I'm on my. I'm on fucking cheese look, bridge. Look at the he hypnotic three pixels that are going uh, back and forth. I like it. In the water. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's actually beautiful. 
That's beautiful. I need to get up to the top there so you see the uh, mini castle. That's a mini dungeon. Uh huh. Um, I need to figure out how to get there, which is uh, circle back around. I don't know. Maybe we'll figure this out. I've, we've probably beaten a fourth of the game. Wow. Only a fourth? Uh, That's a lot. Mm, it de <laughs> it depends. It depends on uh, your. Uh, oops. It depends on uh, what you what your understanding of the game is. It's like, mm -hmm. do you just want to like kill fucking mm -hmm. Bowser, that cock sucking fat bitch, mm -hmm. or do you want to like do the secret world and shit, which is its whole a whole other thing. Yeah, they included the entire MMORPG, the secret world into Super Mario World. You a lot know, of people don't know that. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Sounds like a lie. Sounds like you're kind of being a bitch. <laughs> you know what I... Uh, yeah. Maybe. You know what I think is cool? What's that? What do you think is cool, dude? Um, Why don't you tell us? <laughs> oh, no. No, <laughs> no, tell us. I want to know. No. No, yeah, no, tell no, us Nike. what you think is cool. No, Nike, Nike. no, I'm on your side. I'm against Kevin right now. Okay. Oh, you're against him. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'm not gonna tell you. I don't think I, no, nothing's cool. I don't think it's cool. No, come on, say it. Okay, I was gonna say like when you go to thinkgeek.com and you buy yes. like a, an eight-bit tie, like yes. a shirt that has like an eight-bit tie on it, where it's that's uh, pretty sick. So blocks, sick, you know. Eight-bit yeah. sunglasses. You need eight-bit sunglasses. You need to yeah. you need to buy a shirt that says Vanilla Secret One. Because that that sounds vaguely homo. Vanilla <laughs> secret. <laughs> look at the look at the look at it at the top. Uh, oh, vanilla secret one. Oh, vanilla secret sounds like delicious. Like oh no, actually, God. you know what? Vanilla secret sounds like a bullshit uh, non-dairy ice cream. It totally does. I was gonna store. say it sounds it sounds it like sounds a Chinese like knockoff of. It sounds like a Chinese knockoff of Victoria's Secret. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? Oh, wow. Vanilla Th Secret. Think, <laughs> Think Geek now is owned by GameStop. GameStop. Is it really? This sucks. Dude, no, yeah. that's shit. It's owned by Al uh, Alibaba, Mr. Ali himself. That would be better. <laughs> this sucks, by Mr. Man. Alibaba. <laughs> no, it's... Yeah. How far? Uh, that's what... Like, if you go into GameStop now, it's like just full of little... Doodads, little trinkets. trinkets, and it's all think geek. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's sad. Going into a game store sucks now, because it's all a bunch of, like, yeah, like, do you want this Zelda wallet? The same Zelda wallet that we were selling <laughs> at GameStop yeah. since fucking... We need to, kid. here's a, we need to go, when we, when we take our Western Promises, uh, Nippon <laughs> trip, uh, we gotta go to Super Potato. I can't. I can't wait to. I can't it's gonna wait be so that. sick. It's gonna be so. Wait, cool. sweet potato? What are you talking super, about? Super potato. It's like the huge four-story retro game store in Akihabara. So nice. Oh, I never went cool. to any of the game stores really when I was there, so I'm de super down for that. Yeah, it's really cool. I I went to one and got some uh, uh, Mother Earthbound stuff. Yeah. And uh, I feel like I don't know, maybe I was projecting, but. They were very uh, charmed by it because it's a very traditionally Japanese thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, In, yeah. in terms of like uh, people responding to it or whatever. You think you had a uh, cross? You think you had transracial clout? Is what you're saying? No. Oh, yeah, I had transracial clout. I went to one of their stores because like the, the Japanese people stores. are still really <laughs> one of them. Yeah, they're, they're still really into they're, they're still they're still really in the CDs. You know what I mean? They're still yeah, they really are. Or <laughs> as a as I'm playing a game. Okay, you know what we need well, to hey, do. We, we need to do for the show because I'm I'm very and confused by just how much Five Nights at Freddy's uh, oh my God. fucking merch there is on this website right now. Uh, we need to have a five night. We need five to, Freddy got fingered. We need to. We right, need sorry. to have a child on the show. <laughs> five guys at Freddy's. Yeah. All right, now you're now you're getting into <laughs> my friend uh, getting Resident <laughs> Evil books territory. Because <laughs> I need to figure out what the hell's going on with Five Nights at Freddy's and. <laughs> no. I, I'm very have you not confused. played Five Nights at Freddy's? 
No. Dude. It's just like a it's a jump scare game, right? That's yeah, all it is. go make friends with some. I mean prob hang out and play five minutes. <laughs> no, I refuse. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, yeah, it's it's a bad game. It's funny for like a second. Mm, no, I'm I'm into oh I'm into real God. man's game now, like uh, Fortnite. I'm getting into Fortnite. Real man's game. Um, you need to get into Mario World. You need to get into just... sucking my dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, because in Fortnite right now, apparently the the season is um, uh, uh, Dragon the Ball. Season. Oh, so you can pick up a Kamehameha, and you can do a Kamehameha, which is pretty fun. Not my problem, quite frankly. It's not my problem either. I'm having a great time. <laughs> we, we should play some Western Promises no build Fortnite. It's so fun. You, I, it I sounds played fun. Fortnite I, I don't like the shooting. ages ago. I don't want to play it anymore. That's fair. But but I would be willing to play it at least one more time. I played it and I, I got three wins in a row. Really? Because you're cared by little kids, so <laughs> yeah. no, I don't know. That's because I you was were solo, at... solo dolo in the chicken you got chicken <sighs> dinner? Yeah, yeah. Fucking gay Again, victory, green victory level. Royale, three in a row. Chicken, you, you got three fucking in a row. King Royale. Yeah, I'm telling you, I was good. <laughs> no, you would, you didn't do shit, dude. Um, you would okay, die you know so what? fast. You know what? You know what? You know what? If you want to fucking fact check me, whenever you get those, yeah. you get a special emote that shows you the number of crowned royales you've won. Is that so? so mine, I'm gonna shoulder. I'm gonna shoulder check. So mine. <laughs> so, so mine. <laughs> Mine shows that, and I'll do my emote, and you'll see. You'll see when my Goku does his emote. Dude, when my fucking Twitch emote shows up in the chat, you're gonna fucking be sorry you ever died. You ever died. Dude, I, I, <laughs> God I, I saw that. I was paying attention for that part. All right, the, this is this is where this is where it takes a turn for the worst. Yeah. I uh, I loved in Counter Strike whenever uh, people would just do porn sprays. Oh, dude! One time, like, well, one now, now one I time I was looking dragon. at the uh, Homer Simpson overlay simp <laughs> picture uh, when my my dad walked up behind me, oh, and no. and he didn't acknowledge. I I just like I went back. I was like looking at it for a little bit, and I went back to playing the game, and then I looked behind me. and My dad was there, and he might have missed it completely, but yeah. I was. I like that was that. just such I like a. Uh, Homer fella. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, simps. Simps. Uh, the subreddit simps used to be just any vaginas. Oh that yeah. That was like Homer Simpson's mouth. That's what that used to mean. You know. Let me tell you, man. 4chan in 2019. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Reddit in like 20. Uh -huh. What? 2008. Oh, 2009. God. Yeah, this level this level is stressful. So like we're riding we're riding these dolphins. It's cool. I like that they're introducing I mean? new fun gimmicks for each level. Though. Yeah. So so the thing with the dolphins though is that they're a gimmick for literally like two levels. Uh huh. And then, I mean, I guess there's something charming about that where it's like there's like a gimmick that introduces itself for like two hidden levels. Yeah. That never gets repeated. It's cool. Yeah. I do like that. Ooh, I don't like that big scary spike guy though. Mm. Ooh, fuck. I like um Super Mario Three a lot, where you can go to the Toad houses and uh, like get new items, and that's where you get the uh, the shoe. About? The frog suit. You know the frog suit. Oof, I don't know if I do. You can be a frog, Mario. Interesting. Oh my god, fuck! God, that, uh, that fish is quite the bastard. <sighs> yeah, it's really hard to... to do the thing. Fucking fat fuck. You guys ever seen pictures of river dolphins? I'm not sure that I have. Is, is, is that like an album? No, no, they're they're <laughs> dolphins. They're they're yeah. freshwater dolphins. They're pink and they look terrifying. 
What are they called? River dolphins. Yeah, dude, I love uh, slant and river dolphins. <laughs> uh, tell us more about the the diver diver dolphins. They're <clears throat> um, they're scary. The real life, the thing I'm talking about, exists in the real world. But I'm not... No, I believe you. I was just making fun of the name. I want to know about them. It sound, they sound cool. I didn't. I did, did not know about them. Please yeah, tell us scary. more. Oh, what, what do they look scary. like? Pink. Show us what they look like. So you could hypothetically dodge this one up forever, and you wouldn't continue in the game. Wait, but why would you want to do that? <laughs> I'm, ju I'm just telling you hypothetically what you could do. Wait, do you... Well, the time? Well, there's no time. You can just do this forever? There's no time. No, the, the game will just permanently go on if you don't dodge... If you keep dodging the one up. Oh, man. There should be a world record for somebody who's done this the most. Yeah, there should be. This is a new meta. <laughs> World's stupidest retard. <laughs> His name? Kevin. Greg, 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 Greg hand. It's, Schneider. Hand. No, it's... it's <laughs> lives in a homeless shelter. Alright, we're at Vanilla Fortress. This is probably the last yeah, place. Vanilla right? Fortress. It up the vanilla is Fortress. it really Vanilla Fortress? Vanilla. <laughs> That's what it... Can That's what read? they call it. You know that... <laughs> no. Western you know that... Is HQ. <laughs> you know that... <laughs> <laughs> no, you know that it's picture the, of the it's white the only sphinx? underwater dungeon. The white sphinx? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's vanilla, whatever this was. <laughs> vanilla fortress. Vanilla fortress. That's the pyramid there. This is the only underwater dungeon huh. in uh, the Mario game. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, so underwater the, so, levels suck. Fuck. So the, the f Yeah, no. This one in particular sucks because it's a fucking, like... Castle. The uh, the yeah. frog suit in Super Mario 3 makes you swim really fast. It does, yeah. It gives you a little uh, jump boost. And Mario looks cute as a frog. That makes sense. Yeah, why don't you be a fucking pedophile for Italian children? He's not a child. Just And you can look cute. In it. He's a little cute guy. Everybody knows he's cute. He's a video game character. Don't be gay. Don't I, oh I don't be yeah, gay. Don't Let's be see. Gay. Look at that shit. Calling shit that's not gay gay is the gayest thing you can do. Would you rather get head from swamp <laughs> or a trans person? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. What's don't the know what's the pink answer. thing with the nose? Excuse me. The pink. The pink thing with the nose. Yeah. Of questionable gender. Oh. Be specific. Birdo. You mean the Berta? Yeah, that one. Well, it everyone, shoots the eggs. Easy. Yeah, Birdo. Birdo. Oh, Birdo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Birdo's just sexy, just in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Birdo has a questionable, like, uh, sexual past. <laughs> what's, what's that mean? <laughs> I don't know. Why don't you take it what the fuck it's supposed to be? I need to see, I need to see Birdo's sexual resume. Yeah, I need to see uh, his <laughs> sexual history. Pro provide me with your sexual references, please. <laughs> yeah. I, I would like the me uh, meta address space of your uh, past lovers. <laughs> you know that would be it would be funny, like trying to interview somebody for a job, and then like if they weren't like a super strong candidate, like there was things that were like kind of like, a little bit like ah, oh, you know, maybe I'm not. He's not the oh, right here's person. here's Resnor. But then, but then they provide you with the list of like. Here, I've slept with like these women, and they're yeah, all, like, really, with, really. I slept they're, with, they're with really... ho Holly Berry. No, 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 but if they're, like, they're really, really like attractive women. Holland Berry. Uh, yeah. They probably make me think like, man, there's probably something here to this guy. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know? you know those, but those guys, you know, you think about like an ugly guy who who like bats way above his league. Usually, they're not like good people, you know. No, but it it. Uh... When name me one example of where one of those guys has also been an, like actually a good person. I can't think of one. Mm. Right, right. Well, okay. So before we get it, before we get into the subject, I have to pee really bad. Oh, okay. should we cut it here? Yeah, let's. Uh, let's, let's yeah, let's, I think let's, we're let's, probably let's, wrapping let's, up. I, I, I have. We've crossed uh, yeah. a shit ton of this game. Uh, I know, I know you guys don't appreciate that because. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, just, I do appreciate you just, it. You, you, you guys just think uh, gaming is a, a, a 
a talentless thing. You think I, my hands aren't sweating. No, speak to me. You think I'm not stressed speak out. Speak to me when you have three crowned uh, victory royales under your belt, <laughs> pal. Yeah. That's speak a good to point. me when you're on Butterbridge 1 with 14 lives. That's all. Hey, why don't you meet me on Rainbow Road and we'll fucking drag race our Dodge Challengers. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm bringing the Vanilla Fortress to you. <laughs> Yeah, you get your sob, you meet me on Butterfly, you shot me as a fucking man. <coughs> bitch. I wish Thanks I had so a- for joining us. I wish I had a Saburu. Uh, okay, I'm gonna stop the recording. <laughs> Alright, same. Uh, one, two, three, oh, stop. Let me do that.